Hello my sugar plums, welcome back to my channel. Guys, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how I make these beautiful little coffee cups using just alcohol, ink, and a little bit of alcohol. Now, it's the easiest video to make, guys, and it's the easiest um, DIY that you can be making. All you're gonna be needing is whatever cup that you have. I'm using those two small coffee cups because they are just plain looking, and I love the cups, but they're just like blah, nothing special about them. And all I'm gonna be using is alcohol. I'm using 95%, but you can use whatever amount of percentage that you want. In this case, it doesn't really matter. Also, I'm gonna need, be needing some brushes. I highly suggest that you guys use like a very soft bristle now the tape shape doesn't really matter also you're gonna be needing alcohol ink for this uh, cup I'm gonna be using the color lavender and the color blueberry from uh, let's resin and the color golden from HTV rod now I'm gonna be doing two different color on them now first thing that I went and did I went and spray um, a little bit of alcohol in on directly to the cup just to kind of wipe it down and remove like any dust or oil fingerprint uh, that was left on it and then make sure you wear glove guys uh, because alcohol ink do stain and it take quite a while for you to remove um, so I went and put a little bit of alcohol into a container and all I'm doing right now I'm sticking my brush I dip it into the alcohol and this is my first initial alcohol on top of the cup now how you want to put your alcohol ink in, in you know on your cup is just depend it doesn't there is no right or wrong way of doing it i'm just doing low uh low band of like you know uh, strips but you can just do like droplets it's just gonna depend on what type of like design you want to be on your cup and as you can see once you put your little bit of alcohol, uh, alcohol ink on your cup all you have to do is keep dipping your brush into the alcohol itself and then use that brush to kind of drag the color across uh, across the 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 cup and then you know create whatever design you want now also the alcohol ink will kind of dissolve the um the alcohol will kind of dissolve the alcohol ink you know giving it like a little bit of like a uh, fade fading look so if you want the um your cup to have like a, a, a little bit of fade here and more vibrant color there you just add to all more alcohol in you know in some spot just play with it guys it's a super easy super 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 fun to do there is no right or wrong way of doing it again it's just you know fun just go ahead and you know have fun with it now i want to have my cup um the colors only on the cup itself i don't want any color on the handle so i'm taking my time making sure there's no alcohol ink or alcohol that's gonna uh, gonna fall into my um the handle itself because i, I want the handle to remain uh, white and again a little bit goes a long way now all you need really guys is the alcohol itself once you add a little bit of drop on the alcohol where you want you know on the cup all you have to do is that dip it in the alcohol and then put the you know start playing with the ink on the, on top of the cup and i'm gonna be doing that with all um with uh, all three colors and the reason that i love doing this method is because you have control over where you want your um the colors to be like if you want like the purple to be here and there so you have control over it instead of you know if you were to uh directly add the um the alcohol in the resin it will just move by itself it's the same thing too like if you were to put the resin first and then let the your cup turner turn and then you drip the alcohol in it you have no control to where this uh the um the ink's gonna go so it, if you're going for like this type of look then it's best for you to uh, you know use the resin first and let the alcohol do its stuff but if you want to have a specific you know uh, colors uh, you know in a certain spot on your cups just do it that way and it's super easy i made two cups and it literally took me like 20 minutes to make the two cups now once i finish doing that all i'm doing is like flip my cup upside down and let it dry now alcohol ink dry super super fast while you're doing it it will keep it will dry also so um, I'll just let it dry for like uh, two hours before you can go ahead and seal it with your resin. Uh, but for the second cup, I decided to do a different colors. I did the color cherry and the color forget me night from uh, forget me not from Let's Resin, and still do the golden from HTV Rod. And this is how both cups turn out. And then what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna go ahead and let them dry. I actually let them dry overnight just because I was busy doing something. But you don't need to wait that long. Just leave them for a couple of hours and you'll be ready to go now you have to make sure the ink is completely completely dry before you go and try to seal it now this is the next day and guys 
this color combination absolutely gorgeous i love it this is the color cherry and forget me not plus the color golden beautiful color combination now those cups i'm making for my husband because he loves drinking his coffee and sometimes he goes overboard with it so those cups are the perfect size for him to kind of you know chill out a little bit with the coffee and i don't drink coffee myself so <laughs> it's fine and i'm making two just because just because you know he loves to break stuff, so if he broke one, so he can have the other one. Uh, and for the resin, guys, the amount that you need to use is barely anything. I literally use two ounces of resin for each cup, and this is like even a stretch. That's, that was way too much resin. And because you don't want to oversaturate it with resin, just because I don't want resin to fall into, um, you know, on, on the handle itself so you just barely use a little bit of resin to kind of coat the, uh, the alcohol ink uh, uh, design that's on the cup and I just go above uh, the the lower design just a little bit just to kind of seal the top part as, as well I didn't put the resin all over the um, the cup itself i just went a little bit over the uh the color and also do not forget the bottom because i did put alcohol on the bottom so seal everything and then just hit it with your torch i prefer to use the torch instead of the heat gun when you're doing stuff like this because the heat gun will move your epoxy and then you'll probably blow on top of your you know the handle and everything so just go ahead and use the torch do just a little couple of um you know torch here and there and then remove the bubbles and just that's it let it come completely cure overnight just let it spin it will do its thing just don't worry about it just move on and if you have any uh epoxy that fell into the, the handle all you have to do is use like a paper towel with some alcohol um alcohol on it and then wipe it while it's still dry uh, while it's still wet i'm sorry don't let it dry because if you let it dry it's gonna be a pen so i went and did both of them um uh, i sell both of them and this is the look this is the finished result for both of them super super easy very beautiful very 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 unique looking cup and you can do that with anything guys you know you can change the look of a vase and like anything anything really the uh you know it's super easy super super easy and you don't need a lot of material guys that's it for this video uh if you do like it and you want to see more video like this don't forget to like subscribe comment and share this with your friend and family you know as well guys leave me a comment down below and uh let me know what you think which one is your favorite i absolutely love both of them i'll see you next week for another video but until then you know the drill be blessed and stay blessed i love you guys bye Mwah.